extreme, but he was resolute over the last 300 metres, Henry. Couldn't have had him on the corner. Um, 300 metres later, he sort of started to warm into his work, and, and then he was dynamic the last 200 and just warming up for us. So, you know, the 2400, probably minimum of what he's looking for. He'll have a, a light autumn, as we heard, the, maybe the Tancred but um, he's set for the Melbourne Cup next year, which is what they bought him for. Mm. I guess the key then is, you know, it, how, what sort of an autumn do you give him? You know, how big of an autumn do you, do you go on to a Sydney Cup after Tanker? They were talking about the Australian Cup. Has he got the turn of foot to run a good race in the 10 furlong Australian Cup? He ha probably hasn't, but running a good race there would be probably what they'd be looking for without winning, as we said. There's one goal from the Melbourne Cup. Um, we've seen Lloyd Williams over the years give them light uh, autumns and maybe a, 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 just a, a one or two runs in, a, in, in an Australian Cup or something like that. A horse like Green Moon, a perfect shocking, example. Shocking, shocking, shocking one shocking, Australian yep. Cup after winning. It. Um, even if he doesn't win it, I don't, which I don't think he could, but um, if he runs well, gives everyone a bit of hope, gives him something to do rather than sitting in a paddock for six months and getting fat and lazy, and he'll come back in the spring in terrific order and bounce off a light autumn. So a big story out of uh, out of Sander. We go to Newcastle, a million dollar race. That's a big story in its own right. Chris Lee's had the dominant numbers and looked like he had the dominant thing, but it was Godolphin. It was a brilliant ride by James McDonald. And, and a mare that we've always respected, but I think now we're thinking, gee, this is a really high quality mare, Savatiano. Yeah, she's definitely bounced off what she's been doing previously. Um, street cries, they're not, they can certainly do that. We, we know they can go on with it and um, he's a staying sire, but he can get a dynamic sprinter as well. So, um, you know, tactical advantage was good getting home, a few mm. failures in the race, but the winner was the story of the day. She was. And just on James Cummings, he also trained the Spring Stakes winner. I th he's had over 520 winners now for Godolphin. Only three horses have started at a longer price than Asiago did today. Um, so she was a $21 pop in winning the Spring Stakes. Yeah, well, that <laughs> probably goes back to their placement with a bloke like Don Byrne there, putting in the right races. They don't start at long prices. and. Um, she would have, if she had have run better at Mooney Valley, she would, it's something that's easy to say after the fact, mm. but she would have started in the market and you take that failure out of the equation and she would have almost started favouring that race today. Racing.com will be doing the last from Sandown and also the last from Dunkirk. I think you've got a runner in the last, haven't you? <laughs> the mighty Heavenly Bridges, yeah. At yeah Dunkirk. And, and your apprentice has ridden the Dunkirk Cup winner today? Yeah, we just looked up the results then, didn't we? And she yeah. won the Dunkirk Cup on Unrealistic. Georgina Cartwright. One. Georgina Cartwright, so hopefully she can make it a running treble. And Newcastle with that late start means there are two more races to go there, so they're both on screen. Guy from Newcastle today. So a really successful day at Newcastle and a big day at Santa. Magic Millions is uh, something that you're not going to forget, are you, in that uh, second Saturday in January, but of course it's a whole week thing, 2020, and Seven will be covering that. We'll be covering the gong as well next week, the million dollar race from Kimberley Grange from 2 o'clock Eastern. Henry, thanks so much. You've done a great job. Mate. Thanks for having me, Bruce. Terrific. No, I no, really, really enjoyed your insights and commentary and I hope you enjoyed the day. Thank you.